Hi friends, I'm Abby and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're standing up. Like this, this is a new angle. Oh, I have struggled to try to make this work. But today we're doing the Where's That Fantasy book challenge, which was created originally by Aaron from Booked and Busy. And I thought it'd be fun to do now that I have two shelves. So hopefully I have options on here that I can pick from uh, without like scrambling through piles. So there are 20 prompt questions that I need to try and find. I believe she had rules that yeah, you couldn't put from, you couldn't have like the same book twice, the same series twice. So we will go with that and we will see how quickly I can find all these prompts. Hopefully, hopefully I have a good amount of fantasy. Hopefully I have, a, I have enough to try and do this. Uh, you can see a little bit more of a room from here. You can see, I don't know, you can see that I have legs as well as a body. So I guess we'll just get started. Three, two, one, go. Right, book over a thousand pages. Yep, The Way of Kings. Uh, book older than you. Um, currently reading it, do. Uh, multiple books in a series you haven't started. Oh. The Black Prism and the Blinding Knife. Uh, weapon on the cover. Malice, sword. Um, a myth or a myth, a myth or retelling, a myth or retelling. Oh, my brain has, it's gone blank. Myth. Oh, um, hunted. Uh, signed by the author. Shadow of the Gods, signed by John Gwynn. Uh, book with illustrations. Rhythmatist. Um, book, book with a unique magic system. Okay. Brandon Sanson, Hero of Ages. Uh, book, books in a series that aren't the same size. Yes. Uh, the Bear and the Nightingale and the, the Girl in the Tower. Um, features a bastard child or lost heir. The Spaghetti Moon, Briony Duffy. Uh, an assassin story, Throne of Glass. Uh, book by a black author, Kindred Octavia Butler. Uh, an urban fantasy. The uh, Dark Fever, Karen Rooney Morning, uh, a special edition, uh, uh, special edition, special edition. This book's not easy to get to. Right. Uh, Sky Beyond the Storm by Sarah to hear. Uh, a book that features dragons. Part of the orange tree. Uh, multiple copies of the same book. I have two copies of Emma. That's not a fantasy, but I don't have two copies of a fantasy book. <coughs> An underhyped book. Gods of Jason Shadow by Silver Maria Garcia. Uh, a standalone. The Style of Sleep by Aaron Morgan Stern. Uh, one word, title, Warbreaker, Brandon Sanderson. Uh, a book with talking animals, yeah. Crown Feathers by Nikki Pravaretto. Oh, did it, did it, did it. Okay, wow. Right, we did it, so that took me Three minutes and 33 seconds. I don't know if that's like good or bad. I 
I have I think I saw like some people do this video like a while ago uh and then like I haven't seen it since so I can't remember what anyone's times were but three minutes and 33 seconds like I hope that's good and oh now I've got to put everything back like there is a mess over here it's a mess right I I'll I guess I'll run through properly like what books I picked for each prompt a book over a thousand pages I picked The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson which comes in at 1,001 pages. Oh, I should. I didn't even check. I was just like, I assumed. But wow, that was a, actually pretty, pretty close to, uh, to, to, oh no, there's, there's, well, I think you count like the extra little bits, but wow. Yeah, this one. I think that might be like the only one. I mean, I guess, I guess I've got like a Springer and Rhythm of War, which would be over a thousand. But I actually pretty much just picked from my red books uh, a book older than you. So the book, actually in itself isn't older than me but it was published before I was born and that's Dune by Frank Herbert which I'm currently reading um, uh, but I mean I guess I do have books that are older than me like my copy of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings they're older than me but as a the story is older than me. Multiple books in a series you haven't started yet so that's not like something that I really do but I do have the first two books in the Black Prism series because I generally like I don't buy the sequels until I've read the first book to know if I'm gonna like it because there's no point because there's no point spending the money if, if you don't know if you're gonna like it or not. Um, but these were like in a deal, in a package together. So I got them. I thought these were the only ones I had, but then I just remembered that I have like the whole box set of the first law. So I do have a couple like this. Weapon on the cover, obviously, obviously malice. A myth or retelling, which I had a sudden panic about. I went for Hunted by Megan Spooner, which is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And it should have been easy. I, I should have had loads, but for some reason I was like, Mind was blank, but we found one. Signed by the author, my copy of Shadow of the Gods is signed by John Gwynn. Um, my book with illustrations was The Arithmetist by Brandon Sanderson, uh, and it has the different illustrations throughout. And I actually, I really like this as Brandon Sanderson book, so underrated. Unique magic system, I stuck with the Sanderson. I mean, I wonder if I could like, if you could do this with, well, with just picking like Sanderson books, but uh, the here, uh, the Miss Bond series has a very unique magic system. Books in a series that aren't the same size. Uh, paperback to hardback for the Bear and the Nightingale series. Bastard Child or Lost Air, we have The Forgetting Moon by Brian Lee Durfee. Assassins, we have The Throne of Glass series, which is about uh, Selena Sardothian, who is an assassin. A uh, book by a black author, I have Kindred by P.D. Butler, and I'm really excited to read more of her books. Urban Fantasy, I have uh, Dark Fever by Karen Moon Morning. I really liked this. I read the first five books, which was like the complete art. These were really fun. Special edition, I don't really have that many like special edition. And the thing is like some of the special editions that I have are just like UK paperbacks. Like I have the UK, not UK paperbacks, UK hardbacks of um, Strangers Dreamer, which I guess are in some ways special editions because they're really, very pretty. They've got sprayed edges, but they were just the original UK hardback. Um, but I believe this one actually is a special edition that it's a Waterstones one um, with the pink pages and it is signed. But I don't like get any of the book box books. So I don't have, I don't really have like special editions, really. The chunk, the, the chunky, chunky book for a book that features dragons. Multiple copies of the same book. I have, I mean, I don't have any I mean, looking at the shelves now, I don't think I have any multiple editions of any fantasy books. Um, because what's the, well, um, I was gonna say what's the point, but I know lots of people do have multiple editions of their favorite books. So I, I won't be rude to, to all those people, uh, but I don't need multiple editions of books. I am very happy with just having the one edition. Uh, I do have two of the Jane Austen because I have two sets, but I mean, it's not fantasy, but it is what I have. Under hyped book, I picked Gods of Jane and Shadow by Sylvia Marino Garcia, and I'm really excited to try out more of her books, but this was like jazz age, uh, standalone uh, fantasy, which I really liked in set in Mexico, yeah. Uh, standalone, I had The Start of the Sea by Erin Morgenstern, which I love, uh, one word, one word title was 
Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson, another Sanderson. Maybe I needed to sort of diversify and not pick Sandersons, but they were right there. They were just staring at me. And the uh, book with the book with a talking animal, I have Crown of Feathers, which is a recent series that I read, which has well, it has, it has lots of animals in it. It has phoenixes and many other animals, but the phoenixes are the main ones that talk. So there we go. Um, although I guess it's more like communicating within the mind and not necessarily like actual spoken words but it's yeah they're, they're definitely like communicating with animals there we go i managed it i think i did it pretty quickly like i had all the books i had them all and i yeah i did it in three minutes and 33 seconds so let me know what your time if you've done this challenge what your time was for it i believe i was originally tagged by stephanie from stephanie bookverse uh, a while, a while ago. So finally, here we are, I've done it. Uh, and I will tag, I will tag uh, Joanna from Joanna Souza because I feel like she's got a lot of books and she could do this. I will tag Abby from Abby of Pelinor because we share a name. So <laughs> you can give it a go. I will tag Sophia from Sophia's Thoughts as well. So there you go, three lovely ladies. You are all tagged in the Where Is This Fantasy book challenge. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my future videos. Bye.